Well hi guys, I'm Water C2 from UKLockspot.co.uk um, I recently did a video for James, a friend on YouTube, regarding the cylinder locks that I've actually got and Mike when he saw the video, I, I mentioned in the video that I do have padlocks if anybody wanted to see the padlocks I own to so shout up and I'll do a video so Mike my good friend old fast 911 hope you well my friend um, asked if I do a video so here they are so a lot do have keys but I don't have them in them let's have a look start with that I've been to reach over them little master 140 padlock got a key with that It's one of the first padlocks I bought. I had a lot of trouble with it, but they are an easy pick. So that's that. Just pop them in the box to the side. Like a shutter type padlock key retaining. Um, home protection or protector. Can't see properly on that. It's a cheapish one, um, but it does have a couple of little security pins in it, funny enough. an egrets 50mm padlock and that's an absolute swine to pick it rakes open lovely but single pin picking it's hit and miss got a few of those smaller um, a master 3 master number 3 padlock got a key with that also somewhere I think that one. Um, Sterling all weather padlock. Again got a key with this. Again sorry guys I'm having to reach over so I don't knock these padlocks on the floor. So that's that one. Master all weather padlock. I've got three of these because um, I saw them in one of our hardware stores where somebody had actually gone in and stolen one of the keys. I think there were four in there. Somebody took one of the padlocks and one of the keys. It had whatever keys with it. Um, I think there were two out of the four. So I got them quite cheap. So that's those. One with a key actually in it. Because I was thinking of using that on one of our back fences. This is an aluminium Yale. Very, very light. Nice lock. An Abbas sort of closed shackle. What's it say on there? Abbas number 65CS forward slash 50. That's that one. A Squire SAL40 padlock. Key still in it because I've been playing about with it a few days ago. An American Series 5, is it 300 American Padlock Company, hardened USA given to me by my great friend BM Frank on our UK lock sport forum. Not picked that yet, but we'll have a batch at it. Another one from Kind Frank, another Yale. The keys in there. Not had much of a chance to play with this either. Key returning. This is an interesting one, given to me some time ago uh, by the great Pick Wizard. It's a lockout safety master, plastic on the outside, six pin I think, 
might could even be seven unsure can't sort of quote on that um, do have the key for it I've picked it and got photographs um, but hopefully you might be able to hear this after picking it photographing it I went to go put the key back in to shoot a video and it does not budge key goes in but it sounds like all the pins have come out inside there I don't know if that's salvageable um, but my little boy's favourite colour is red so he's commissioned that it's a shame it's a nice lock it was a good pick kryptonite quite a heavy chunky lock again a key in it because I was playing with this a couple of days ago picks quite well can be temperamental I've just got to get used to these keyways I think so that's the kryptonite um, master 80mm sort of disc lock done a few videos on this one small egret 40mm padlock I've got about 5 or 6 of these got them from work some time ago um, a baton, does it say on there? 767D 40mm. This is an interesting little one. Found it outside, literally near my step. It was absolutely caked in blue paint, cleaned off. Say so that's an Abbas. Um, number 41 30 millimeter made in germany as abbas padlocks are nice little look quite a bit of tension i've found to open this one um, disc detainer lock i've got a couple of these and I do not have a disc detainer pick to actually get into them but i won't mind having a play at some point another disc lock, it's still open for when I picked it last time it just says W security on there so I don't know what brand it is um, an Abbas disc lock which I've done a video of and that's an Abbas 2670 you can see that that is the first padlock I ever purchased from one of your sort of Poundland type shops um, I got some warded picks when I first started getting into lock sports so I just thought oh they'd work on there no they don't and I've not picked that to date and it is the first ever padlock I got and purchased should I say so that's a bit of a keepsake and I've got to get that open um, little things like that got a couple of these um, did a video on making your homemade padlock shims very easy to manipulate um, a 50 millimeter dimple master padlock recently done a video on that and think James liked this and his friend but that's that one has working keys for it little 40 millimeter Aldridge padlock again I got this given some time ago for a friend uh, by clock standard type thing just kept having a padlock box another master padlock looks like 40 millimeter it's got a long shackle 40 or 50 millimeter I'm not sure sort of a plastic type casing on the outside don't have a key for that that's that one uh, Pepe's CR50 from Brazil when I googled this they're meant to be quite high security locks but with very very light tension and just tickling the pins they fly open within 2-3 seconds so I got that again when I started lock sports the other year 
Solex 50mm padlock, got a key for this too. And this one, <coughs> Federal Super 2000, or whatever it is. I picked that up on eBay, very, very cheap, a long time ago. Not picked it yet, but I've not really had a bash and spent much time with it. But that does weigh an absolute ton, it's huge. And this is like a multi lock type lock with a working key. Um, not really good with multi locks. I've got a dimple pick set, and I've picked obviously the master uh, dimple lock and another basic dimple lock, but really need to get my head round sort of multi locks. I wouldn't mind one of those multi lock picks. Um, I've seen videos of them and they look to work rather well. Rather than using the dimple locks, there's actually a designed pick for these. Right and left side picks you can get. So that's those. Um, one I've left to the side is this monster. It's like an old car crook lock. And we've had this for absolutely ages. I think it was my wife's on one of her cars she had a long time ago. I'll just bob that to one side. Um, but it's actually an Abbas. And that's the key for it. Whether it makes a difference. But it's, again, that's quite a chunky thing. Abbas number 42 forward slash 70. So I would assume the 70 is 70mm. And it picks quite well, not done a video of this yet but I will get round to that so hope you liked the videos Mike the first one obviously of my sort of cylinder locks and I hope you liked this one regarding my padlocks so if you aren't newbies to lock spot guys I know this wasn't a picking video but just come and join us at www.uklockspot.co.uk and again, even though it wasn't a picking video, please keep it legal.